Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to give you another Let's Play video for WWE 2K14. Um, I'm on part... I think I'm on part... 5. I'm not sure, though. I'll, I'm, I'll check. I think I'm on part 4, actually. I'm going to check. Hold on a second while I check. This is part 5. Um... So uh, I'm going to be giving you guys this video. Before I do, I want to tell you guys that you guys can vote on the polls down below. You can vote for which DVD would you like to see me review. Um, you can either vote for Backlash 2007, um, WrestleMania 3, or... I don't remember what the other pay-per-view is. Royal Rumble 2009. And you can also, so you can vote for that down below. Uh, you can also vote for which pay-per-view you would like to see me review. Um, you can vote for like a series of pay-per-views like I usually do. You can vote for Armageddon, WWE Armageddon, ECW, Anarchy Wars, or WCW Bash at the Beach. Um, right now the votes are completely tied um, for all those pay-per-views and for the uh, DVDs. Backlash has three and I think... Uh, Royal Rumble has won, so that's good. Um, so now I'm going to give you guys this video. Um, I'm just going to cut straight into it. Just had to, I just had to get that out of the way. I'm going to start doing a lot more of these now. I have to watch the Ultimate Warrior DVD, so I didn't really have time to do this. So let's get right into it. And they, as you can see, the walk. So yeah, let's just continue it. Well, I don't remember where I last left off. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, left off. I'm on WrestleMania 12 now. Make sure everything's set the way I want it to. Teams, you know, my WWE edit teams. The teams you want, uh, options. Gameplay, match options, balancing. Let's make sure this is these are all set all the way up. I know damages because I always put it all the way up. Okay, so now I can just get right into it. And I may have to stop the video early because I have to go somewhere today. I'm going to see Mick Foley do some comedy. So this is not this is still called the new generation. Uh, this show is actually WrestleMania 11, so I was 1. I thought this was 12. Oh, 12 is the next one. So this is 11. My bad. Uh, the match is Undertaker versus King Kong Bundy. This match happened on April 2nd, 1995, and then it happened in Hartford. I think it says Connecticut. Uh, not really good with abbreviations of my states. And as you can see, you can see uh, Undertaker um, attacking... Uh, Bundy. And the story background, the build up to this match is at Royal Rumble 1995. Undertaker face Owen or Schweister. It's IRS, you know who he is. As part of his rivalry against Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Corporation. During the match, King Kong Bundy, another corporate corporation member, interfered and enabled the corporation to steal Undertaker's urn. With Undertaker's urn stolen, which has said to be the source of his power, which we all know that it is. The Phenom set his sights on the man he feels respon was responsible for the theft, King Kong Bundy. At WrestleMania 11, the world would find out it King Kong Bundy, the walking, um, condame, con I don't know what that says. What could overcome the power of the Undertaker? So this is obviously one of Undertaker's matches in the streak. Um, so this is going to be a little bit sad uh, because uh, it's really uh, it's going to be weird for me to play this match because we don't want Brock Lesnar ended up breaking the streak. So as you can see right there, you see Ted DiBiase and uh, King Kong Bundy, and Ted DiBiase is holding the urn. You see Undertaker and Paul Bear, uh Backstage somewhere, and then you see King Kong Bundy again. And uh, my objectives, my well, my match stipulation is I have to win by pinfall and submission. My historical objectives is I have to hit an old school signature move on Bundy. I have to body slam Bundy, and I have to win by pinfall, which shouldn't be too bad. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. 
approaching the ring, accompanied by the billion double band, Ken Nibiosi, from Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing 444 pounds, Ken Hogbundi. Take a look at the size of this human being. Nibiosi will be earned. Tonight is one-on-one. -on -one. This monstrous individual, King Kong Bundy, against The Undertaker. You know, we're talking a lot about WrestleMania history. Well, King Kong Bundy holds the record for the fastest pin in WrestleMania history. Nine seconds. Which I could talk about. I'm surprised they didn't have him come out with the owner. That kind of went it. They, they should have had DiBiase come out with the owner. I think that would have been awesome, but they didn't do it. So I think they should have done that. Undertaker's gonna make his one entrance to the win. I like watch. I've been in live when I watch this entrance. Um, I don't know if me and Adam told you this. Uh, Adam's on the CM Brothers channel. Um, he when we when they were building up the Triple H Undertaker match at WrestleMania 28. Um, he he wanted to see Undertaker. He wanted to see his entrance, but uh, it now it's on the Titantron that he he won't be there until next week. So. I thought that was really funny stuff. Um, so Undertaker, but yeah, this probably isn't going to be one of Undertaker's greatest matches that he had, but, you know, if you've seen the match, you know, but you can make the match better, though, on the Xbox 360. That's it's the beauty about playing these matches. You can make a match that's absolute shit and make it so much better. Takes his head off and rolls the eyes and put it back in his head. And I like how it looks like that it's kind of how it was back then, how they changed Undertaker's attire and stuff. Alright, so let's get right into it. And it's telling me how to uh, body slam him. Slam him. I think I had to body slam him when I did the. when I fought him. Um, and the cage match is Hulk Hogan, but I'll read it again. You have to press A to initiate a front face lock, and then press A again to body slam him. The Undertaker against King Kong Bundy. Okay, clearly I can't do that right now, so I have to do other moves right now. Bundy to come to WrestleMania and put the dead man six feet under. Well, in my opinion, oh. that was money wasted. King Kong Bundy is no joke, but he is EDT no by me. Undertaker. This is Bundy's fourth WrestleMania appearance, and the Undertaker... I don't think Undertaker's ever done that move before. <laughs> I didn't watch really much of Undertaker. I don't really know much of Undertaker back then. Oh, Bundy just destroyed me. He catches him with the axe handle. Bundy to the ropes. Oh, oh, come on, hold on to the ropes. Oh, I usually never reverse that. Just destroying you right now, Bundy. I like how he kept the left count in immediately. Oh, I went for a boot. Oh, I went for another one. Damn. Sending him back into the ring. 
Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Oh, I missed. Probably should have waited a little bit longer. Like clothesline and him outside the ring. That's cool stuff. I don't think you can reverse when you get a bounce off the table. Alright, here comes my apron leg drop. This is what I wanted to do before. Just can't get out of this. Wow, he fought me off. But I could use that as a distraction. Fought me off right there too. We're just doing all our fighting outside the wind. I usually never get the advantage when I am uh, outside the wind. Cam spam, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to see uh how to do is uh I like how I can go on to it and look at the special moves. I hope they keep that next year. Alright, uh, I think it's signature as I have to do that. And Cincinnati one the legendary gorilla monsoon said it best. Let's do the old school. The Here it comes. Versus the immovable object. Bundy ain't gonna move, JR. No matter what. Oh, I thought the referee was gonna screw me up like that. I thought I was pretty pissed. Bundy and this is the first one. And then you gotta body slam him. Man, any, he was just that. But he body slammed me. If I don't kick out of this, I won't be bullshit. Yeah. Try doing his body. I'm gonna try body slamming him now. Reverse it again. Oh, reversed. Are you kidding me, look? That elbow did some damage. A nice reversal by the Undertaker. And a reversal from the Giant. The Too fast. Bundy is measuring the Undertaker. He can be downright methodical in the way he administers his punishment. Oh man, I never thought I would see the Undertaker manhandled like this. Bundy has dominated opponents since he joined Ted D. I've been dominating him. I just have to do his body slam, but it won't let me do it. always a dangerous man. You put millions of dollars behind an athlete like that. There we go. Now I'm going to tombstone him. Or choke slam him, whatever one. Come on. Alright, let's get this done. Oh 
What? He kicked out of it. I was not expecting that. I cannot let him hit his finisher on me. Uh, what's his other signature? It's a uh, flying clothesline. Believe it or not, that's how he won last the first time in real life. Alright, so here's what I've unlocked. I unlocked the Million Dollar Championship. I unlocked Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man from WrestleMania 11, so he's in his manager attire. I unlocked Paul Bear from WrestleMania 11, 12, and 14. So let's just uh, go back to the main menu. So let's look to the timeline menu, shall we? Alright, so now I'm, I'm playing again at WrestleMania 11. This time the match is Diesel versus Shawn Michaels. Diesel is also known as Kevin Nash. The location is the same, Hartford, Connecticut. This match is for uh, the World Wrestling Federation Championship, also known as the WWF. Today it's known as the WWE. And the date was April 2nd, 1995. Um, and here's the, and here's, can you see Diesel giving the, like, the backdrop to Shawn Michaels? Yeah, so you can see that. So Diesel made an impact when he entered the WWE as Shawn, as Michael's bodyguard. As time passed, the two charismatic superstars began competed as a tag team and hold the WWE, what was known as the WWF back then, tag team championships in 1994. At Survivor Series 1994, however, Diesel was on the receiving end of Sweet Chin Music as Michaels accidentally kicked Diesel in the face. This led to an argument during which Diesel dis dissolved the tag team and vacated the WWF Tag Team Championships. Uh, three days later, Diesel defeated Bob Backlund to become the new WWF Champion. Michaels won the Royal Rumble two mo months later, which earned him a ma match against Big Daddy Cool, which is Diesel. Uh, for the WWF Championship at WrestleMania 11. So that's going to be good stuff. Um, let's uh, get right into it. So yeah, as you can see, you can see them both holding the Tag Team Championships right there. Uh, you can see them both arguing at Survivor Series. And then I think this is when Diesel won the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Now, uh, here's my objectives that I have to do. The match stipulation is I have to win by pinfall or submission. Uh, the historical objectives is I have to hit HPK, which stands for Heartbreak Kid. That's Shawn Michaels. I have to hit him with a big boot, get HPK to critical damage, and then the, the third and fourth one are hidden objectives. So, let's get right into it. The following contest is scheduled for one Alright, so let's get right into it. Why not? Wait, we did. 
his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 317 pounds, the WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania 11 in Hartford, Connecticut. Big Daddy Cool Diesel against his former tag team champion partner, Shawn Michaels. We're going to see firsthand who the weak link of that tag team was, JR. Just look at the size of Diesel. Eat your heart out, Shawn Michaels. Yep, so, uh, Diesel, uh, is the WWF champion. Um, but I, I've never really been a huge Kevin Nash fan, so I don't really like Kevin Nash that much. I think uh, he can't even run across the win and make a simple tag, so he really needs to work on his uh, craft. Um, the guy should have just retired after that. Like, why, why did he even come back to the WWE after that? I would just be humiliated that I got injured going to make a tag across the win. I would be like, I suck. Let's get right into it. This is for the WWE Championship. Well, it should say WWF, but they can't put that because they had to change it. And then you have uh, the referee just going to present the championship, so what you're going to fight for. And this is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. All right, let's get right into it. Oh wow, he just beat the crap out of me. Oh, I thought he was gonna do a move. This one is so hard to watch, Jr. Sean was Diesel's boss. Big Daddy Cool is fighting the hand that fed him. Oh wow, I haven't hit one move on it in this match. Diesel took exception, ditched Michaels, and vacated the tag team titles. Just three days later, Diesel pinned Bob Backlund. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. To win the now it's time for Shaw to teach his former bodyguard a nice lesson. Well, Michaels gets his shot to do just that tonight, King, by virtue of his victory at the Royal Rumble two months ago. Oh my gosh. Reversal by Shawn Michaels. I bet they could hear that one up in the rafters. Hey, a reversal by Diesel. Hey, a reversal by Diesel. Can't even like, come back to Sean me. is a ring technician, JR. Technically, I'm not sure if Diesel even knows what a ring is. I can't believe this. What in the world? Ah, Michaels reverses it. Oh, wow, he reversed it. But at seven feet tall, Diesel's got the leverage. At 317 pounds, he's got the weight advantage. You gotta give Sean credit, though, JR. Sean has prepared himself and trained hard for this match. This is the match of his career. Well, this is the match of his life. It's been all Shawn Michaels' kind of so far. I've got moves here and there, but. Down into the heart of his opponent. He's always got the shaft and then bam. He's just so slow. He would have been a little bit faster than I would have gotten. He's been around for so long that he knows every counter to every hole. These are moves suck. I can't. Is it, they're moves that don't even knock him off his feet. Oh, so fast. Expect that to 
Oh, wow, I got him up in the air high. Is this when I can hit the big boot on him? Uh, I guess so. How do I do this with big boot? Oh, I missed! It was blocked, but I got it. I'm gonna do a DDT to you. Now I'm just beating the shit out of me. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nice. Oh, wait, maybe he, maybe he thinks so. If he does not hit his comeback, he doesn't have a chance to come back to me. Go DDT, come on, I hope he lost his comeback. Come on, lose his comeback. Yes, he lost his comeback. Shawn Michaels will have to be in his very, very best. Because Big Daddy Cool is as tough as they come. It very well could be Shawn's night. Let's face it, JR. Shawn carried Diesel when they were together. He knows all of Big Daddy Cool's weaknesses. Come on, you got this, Diesel. Shawn Michaels may have taught Diesel a lot. But you can't teach sheer power and size. Big Daddy Cool has that in spades. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, JR. And the dumber they are, the faster they fall. Diesel needs to end this thing. Alright, so now I have to hit a jack goes, hit HBK with a jackknife towel bomb. He's got the stamina. He's lighter on his feet. The oh, I didn't do it! Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Uh oh. That was bullshit. I might just I might have just lost this match. I would be shocked. Well, at least I at least am almost to my finisher actually. Why can't I just drag him over with my other arm? I don't think I got it. Gotta pin him ten. I now I have to pin him ten seconds later. Got him. It was it was it? I got squashed, kinda, but I at least won. Oh, I thought it froze. And I unlocked the WrestleMania 11 arena. Good stuff. So, uh, next in is WrestleMania 12. And the match I'm doing is Undertaker versus Diesel. Yeah, Undertaker versus Diesel. Good stuff, huh? Uh, and and uh, this match happened on March 31st, 1996, the day that Ultimate Warrior came back. And the location was Anaheim, California. And this happened, match happened, oh well, I already said that, um, you could see Undertaker choking Diesel right there, by the way. Um, and the story build up to this match is at Royal Rumble 1996, as, at Royal Rumble 1996, as Undertaker prepared to end his WWE Championship match against Bret Hitman Hart with a tombstone, he was attacked by Diesel, who thought that he deserved the title shot. It was announced that at WrestleMania 12, the... Undertaker and Diesel would face off in a battle of WWE's mo most dominant big men. As the match 
approached, the mind games began as the Phenom proceeded to torment Big Daddy Cool. Um, eventually, the psychological warfare peaked as Undertaker poisoned at Coffin at Windside. No, positioned at Coffin at Windside. Diesel destroyed the casket only to discover a life size replica of himself. Uh, I guess good stuff, right? Alright, so this it shows Diesel walking away somewhere backstage. He's just he, he doesn't even like look at the camera. Um, it just shows Undertaker today. I didn't get sure to show back then. And then it shows Diesel again. So, good stuff. Uh, my uh, stuff that I have to do is my match stipulations. I have to win by pinfall or submission. Um, my historical objectives is I have to hit a choke slam on Diesel. Um, I also have to hit a tombstone on him, and I have to win by pinfall. So good stuff. The following contest is scheduled for one fall from Detroit, Michigan, weighing three hundred pounds. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Well, here he comes. He's cool, and he's big. He's Big Daddy Cool. And the Undertaker will be meeting this seven-foot monster. And you wonder whether or not the big diesel truck by the name of the Undertaker just might run over Big Daddy Cool here at WrestleMania. It can only happen, again. ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania. I must say, Big Daddy Cool huh? looks like he's pretty much keeping his cool, at least what? for the moment. I'm sure the Undertaker's been it's playing some out. It's games, out. but apparently it hasn't worked. <laughs> I didn't know. Look at that face, JR. What a ghoulish figure. Well, we're only minutes away from finding out the battle of the monsters here. The seven foot Big Daddy Cool Diesel going one on one with the Phenom, the Undertaker. Look at the size of that guy. Six foot ten inches tall, 328 pounds. This matchup is likely to be one of the more physical contests we've ever seen at WrestleMania. Very physical. This unquestionably is the greatest challenge for the Undertaker. The Undertaker perhaps has never met a man quite like Diesel. A man who could very well plant the Undertaker six feet under. Yeah, so I gotta be I kinda do snatch quick and they gotta be at that big holy thing and go through so many bridge. It does feel like the Undertaker's kind of changed, but not much. But this is both the Destiny of Love and Age the Tire, so. So let's get this match on the way. I mean, I'm not going to have time to do the other Destiny 12 match, but. Oh well. I'm gonna squash. I'm gonna try to finish him off as fast as I can. Damn, too late. Um, let me see how to do his choke slam real quick. 
Okay, it's both a finisher and a sign. It's both. They're both finishers, so I'll try to get. I'll just get two finishers. The hell is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, just keep going. What are you doing, Diesel? Back and forth. Why does he have a signature? I hit more moves on him than he did on me. I'm not even gonna let you get. I'm not even gonna give you a chance to hit your finisher on me. Oh fuck! I thought he'd be groggy. No way I can do it. Let me just get back to destroying Diesel. Oh wow. I wouldn't have even hit him in the first place. Why'd you bother moving? Alright, maybe I shouldn't go for that elbow no more. Here comes Choke Slam. So I'm on the Wolves, buddy. At least he went outside the ring. Hey, why does he have his finisher, by the way? That diesel, this diesel match is just so bullshit. I want to do that apron leg block.
being very slow in this match. One in Storm City. It's over. Achievement unlocked. Mike, so you have to wake up Tom and then the finisher and immediately pin your opponent. It was I destroyed Diesel in that match. I think Diesel sucks in this game because when I was him, I was getting destroyed. And then when I wasn't him, I destroyed him, so Diesel must suck. Um, so, uh... I unlocked WrestleMania 12 Alina and Kevin Nash, also known as Diesel, from WrestleMania 12. Good stuff. That's it. I, that's all I can play. I'm going to have to find to play the next match. I don't have time to play the next match. Okay. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't have time to just do all the stuff down below. Vote for the polls.